there were giants in the earth in those days. And also after that, when the sons of God came unto the daughters of men, they bore children to them. The same became mighty men, which were of old, men of renown. Genesis chapter 6 verse 4. These three men are giants. Yes, giants. Looking at them, you might think they are normal people until a normal person joins the three. And the difference is big and bigger, starting from each of their body parts. The hands are two times the normal hand. When they greet you, it feels like greeting a three-year-old. Interestingly, these men do not wear shoes. They are always walking barefooted. Well, it's not that they don't like wearing shoes. But the problem is, their feet are too big that there is no shoe on the earth that can feed these three men. And that's why they choose to live a life without shoes. Until the day, they'll go and find the shoe factory. It is said these men are the descendants of the Nephilim, giants from the Bible, who are the sons of God and the daughters of men. Who are these people? Why are they this big? Mm. These three men are brothers from same parents. There were five, but later two died. They say that right after their parents gave birth to them, they knew that the men would become giants. It's just a poor life they've been through. If they had a good life, they would have grown big and bigger and taller than they are today. Though they are this big, they never oppress other little people. To them, they try and be kind to all people but they are not treated the same way. Most people fear these men and fear that when you give these men a job, they can single-handedly perform what 20 men can do. And to them, being giants has become a problem in this village because most people fear and run away from them. These three giants have never fought or harmed any person in their entire life. They say even if one can fight them, they cannot fight back. They are so strong that one slap can kill a normal human being. But they never wish to take away anyone's life. Uh, they believe in love and in unity. They believe people must live in harmony. They are always together. They have people who are fans to them, and many people say that if all men behaved like these three giants, then the world would be a better place. Alexander is one of the giants. He is nicknamed Alexander the Great, and you remember this name in the history. He was the king of the ancient Greek. Though he's a giant, he's so humble that he was even a member of a choir a year ago before the pandemic messed up everything. These giants also called the cast giants because it's difficult for them to get a job. It's not only a job but most opportunities are not given to these giants and most people refer them as cast giants. Some think these men have the Nephilim origin and these were mysterious beings mentioned in the Hebrew Bible, who were giants, large and strong.
These three brothers never wore shoes. They last put on shoes when they were younger in their childhood. And by that time, they would wear shoes of grown-up men. They say whenever they go in the market to buy some shoes, they fail to get shoes that can fit them. Shoes with the biggest size available in the market become small when they try putting them on. And since there is no shoe factory nearby, all they do is walk barefooted. Anatoly is the youngest of these three. He's 49 years old. Others are in their 60s. He says since his childhood, he was a giant. He remembers during his time in primary, he was even bigger in size than most teachers. And some people would mistakenly confuse and think he's an old person. He grew as a giant but says it's worthless living as a giant, yet you don't earn from it. To him, if there were some movie companies who would come and sign them, then they would act well as villains in movies, and especially movies with superpowers. He jokes that he can need no VFX. Jocelyn is the wife to Alexander. They got married in 1999. She says it was good to get married to such a man. It was a proud moment to her because she got married to a giant and that assured her of protection. She's so lucky to be have got married to such a giant. Whenever she produces a child, that baby comes out as a young giant. We took these men to the market and on our way, people are always amazed by these big creatures. They are known in the area for their appearances. We were shocked seeing no shoe sure feet these men. We searched the whole market and everywhere, not even sandals. <laughs> Those who sell shoes advised the three men to look for a certain factory. If not, they will never get shoes. They return from the market walking barefooted. It happens to everyone as they grow. You find out who you are and what you want, and then realize don't see things the way you do. So you keep the wonderful memories, but find yourself moving on. The great courageous act we must all do is to have the courage to step out of our history and past so that we can live our dreams. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afromax English. Remember to subscribe.